Thanks to PV Case for making this video possible. Lake Mead is arguably one of the most important reservoirs in the United States. Located on the Colorado River, this reservoir has quite literally shaped the landscape and the lives of millions of people in the American Southwest. Over the past 20 years, the water level has fallen to record low levels, nearly reaching Deadpool status in 2022. However, this year marks a different story. The combination of historic winter snowpack and new federal agreements regarding water consumption, many see this as a turning point for the American Southwest. But what do Lake Mead's rising water levels mean for this entire region? And how will increasing regulations and water cuts influence the future of this reservoir? To understand the severity of the situation at Lake Mead, we need to take a look at a map showing population density across this region. The combined populations of California, Arizona, Nevada, and Utah represent more than 50 million U.S. residents, all relying heavily on the Colorado River and Lake Mead. While Lake Mead's water level reached its highest recorded level in 1983, it experienced a significant downtrend in the 40 years afterward. What followed was a year of intense water cuts and record low water levels. This would go on to lead to the biggest water crisis the American Southwest had ever seen. However, there is considerable confusion surrounding efforts to save this reservoir and prevent dead pool status. In 2022, the federal government declared a Tier 2 shortage at the reservoir, and further limited the amount of water states could consume. Additionally, this led to significant legal disputes between states throughout the Southwest, refusing to come to an agreement regarding reduced water consumption. But more than one year later, many questions still remain regarding the efforts set in place to limit how much water states are using. To better understand the impact that water cuts have had on Lake Mead, we need to take a look at a chart showing the monthly elevation and projections for the reservoir. The metric that stands out is the projected water levels as of August 2022 and June 2023. While original projections stated that the reservoir would continue to fall towards 1,000 feet in elevation, one year later is a completely different story. Projections as of June 2023 show Lake Mead bouncing out and rising above 1,050 feet in elevation. This is the result of strict water cuts set in place by the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation and the federal government. While the efforts set in place have played a significant role in Lake Mead's elevation, it still keeps the reservoir far below a stable level. To show you how significant, look at this picture of the reservoir level back in November of 2000, and pay particular attention to these intake towers. Now, compare that picture to what it looked like during our recent visit, when the reservoir was at a record low. With Lake Mead standing at just 38% of its capacity, what does the U.S. government plan to do to prevent a widespread water crisis? But first, I want to thank PV Case for sponsoring this video. PV Case is a next-generation AutoCAD-based software that's focused on automation and accuracy when simulating the location for a solar power plant. The software's intuitive workflows help reduce the learning curve and improve productivity. With features for prototyping, electrical design, and terrain analysis, PV Case enables engineers and designers to seamlessly transition projects from their initial stages all the way to completion. The end-to-end -end approach can help streamline project workflows and reduce errors. Visit pvcase.com forward slash archive to learn more about PV Case's solutions for solar power plant design and GIS. One of the first initiatives to replenish Lake Mead took place in early 2023. The U.S. Bureau of Reclamation carried out an experimental water release from Lake Powell into the Colorado River. The release, referred to as a high-flow experiment, aimed to support canyons down through the Colorado River by releasing large amounts of water. This was the first high-flow experiment conducted at the reservoir since 2018, and continues to show just how severe the situation is becoming. But even as additional efforts to replenish these reservoirs have gained attention, the controversy surrounding additional water cuts has become apparent. In April of 2023, the U.S. government proposed even more water cuts for this region. While states such as California and Nevada have engaged in legal disputes surrounding water cuts, 
This proposal aims to evenly cut water allotments between these states. While Lake Mead did reach its lowest level in history back in 2022, more than a year later, an agreement between these states has still not been reached. In response, California offered its own plan, claiming that the bulk of the water cuts should come from Arizona. However, the problem is more complex than many would first believe. Overuse of Lake Mead's water and a 23-year-long drought have threatened to provoke a severe water and energy crisis for this entire region, which has led to water consumption being limited. But the decision to impose water cuts is quite complex. If water cuts were based on population, California would see the smallest decrease in water supply. However, this decision would greatly harm Nevada and Arizona, which represent some of the largest cities in the United States, such as Las Vegas. With an intent to mitigate these regional risks, the proposal to evenly cut and distribute water across this region has gained significant attention over the past 12 months, with each of the seven basin states all having drastically different water needs, this proposal could lead to a significant rise in Lake Mead's water levels. But for now, an agreement has still not been enacted, leading to ongoing discussions surrounding the future of this proposal. While the rising water levels at Lake Mead can be attributed to a number of initiatives to try and save this reservoir, in the end they have played a minimal role in solving the overall problem. Continued disagreements surrounding water cuts and consumption will only lead to ongoing supply problems throughout the American Southwest. Even as many have claimed that an epic winter could significantly help the water levels at the reservoir, these small increases in depth have proven to have minimal impacts. In reality, the only method that will significantly impact the water levels at this reservoir is the water cuts implemented across this region. While there may be controversy, coming to a solid agreement between the basin states will heavily benefit the entire region in the long term. According to projections, if an agreement cannot be made in the near future, Lake Mead could reach Deadpool status as soon as 2025 and stay near that level for an extended period of time. This would lead to significant problems for the entire region, such as energy shortages and a prolonged water crisis. The problem is we're talking about a 23 year mega drought. So the soil up there is really dry. It may not all run off into the river. The problem really now relies on human intervention. We can't rely on mother nature anymore. It's gonna take intervention at the state or federal level, which means cutbacks on water. It means conserving the water that we have right now. That's the only way. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. And thanks again to PV Case for making this video possible.